Hey Bethel kids, happy Wednesday. So today I have another recipe for you. Now this recipe is for a kind of goo called oobleck. When I'm done making this recipe, I'm also going to try a really cool experiment that I've seen. Let's hope this works, but first let's make our oobleck. Now what you need is one cup of water, which I have right here. Then you're going to need cornstarch, okay? And you're going to use one cup and a half of cornstarch. So what we're going to do first is this. I'm going to take one cup of cornstarch. If you're going to make this, make it somewhere where you can get a little bit messy because things can get a little messy with this stuff. So I'm going to pat it down. Then you're going to take another, I'm eating the cornstarch, then take the half, so a cup and a half of cornstarch. Get it all in there. There you go. And then you can actually make your oobleck a certain color. So I'm going to take some blue food coloring and I'm gonna put it in the water that I have here in the cup. So I'm gonna put blue food coloring in. Then I'm gonna stir that up so it's a nice blue color. Then I'm going to slowly pour in the water and as I pour in the water, I'm going to stir this mixture. When you get the water in, you just mix. So you're going to mix it. And you'll notice that it's getting pretty thick and clumpy, but that's okay. Keep stirring. Now, if you didn't know what oobleck is, Oobleck is both a liquid and a solid. Now you're thinking, how is that possible, Pastor Terry Lynn? Something can't be a solid and a liquid all at once. It's true, oobleck can. Now, if you think your oobleck is a little bit too watery, you can actually put a little bit more cornstarch in. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in because mine looks pretty watery. And I'm gonna mix that in. Now I wanna test out how this is going. So I'm gonna check it out with my hands. Now, as you see, when I put my hands in the bowl, it's liquid, right? But if I take some of this liquid into my hand, squeeze it and squeeze it in your palms of your hands, it'll turn into a solid, okay? See that? It's a solid. It turns into like a putty in your hands. It's forming to your hands, but watch this. When I open the palm of my hand, it turns back into a liquid. Is that cool or what? Let's do that again. As you can see, it's a liquid, right? I can put my hands down in it and it's a liquid. But when I take some of this liquid out, put it in my hands, it becomes a solid. But then when I open my hand again, it turns back into a liquid. Now that I have my oobleck made, I'm going to try an experiment we are going to try and make our oobleck dance. 
Yeah, you heard that right. We are going to make a liquid dance to some music. You wanna see how this goes? Watch this. My oobleck put into a bowl and I have an old speaker. I'm going to pour my oobleck onto the speaker.